Hey, Tony here. Today I want to show you all of my Indiana Jones collection, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to go over some of my Indiana Jones collection. Not, not some of them, but all of my Indiana Jones collection. Um, I've been collecting these since they were first released on Blu-ray. I did have the VHS tapes, I just haven't been able to, to um, grab those out of the cases. Um, out of the totes, so I thought I would just stick with the Blu-rays and the 4Ks. So first up we have the first slipcover edition Blu-ray with this really nice embossed slipcover. It's kind of got like a foil look about it. Really nice looking for Raiders of the Lost Ark. And then we have Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. As it shows on the sticker, first time on Blu-ray as an individual release. Then we have The Last Crusade, which I really enjoy this film. And then I did not get um, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull because it didn't have one that went along with these. So I just stuck with the original trilogy. And then I did get this um, box set that came out. It's The Complete Adventures. And it opens up and it has the um, pages that the disc stick inside of. With all of these special features. It has all four films. I never did open this one up because um, I really didn't need to because I had the Blu-rays already. But I do like the um, the packaging for this. It's a pretty hard set. And then they started releasing some still books. Um, I did get this still book from Best Buy. It's kind of got like a pretty flat looking artwork on it. Um, they only released this one with the still book for the Blu-ray and didn't release any of the other ones. Um, so after they had released this one, the UK did a release and they did the original poster art. So I did get this really beautiful looking embossed still book for Raiders of the Lost Ark, which I never did open up, which I probably need to. So we have Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. It has a embossed title. Then it has the edging around it, which I like. And then we got Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom with the edge around it and the embossed Indiana Jones title for the Blu-ray. And then we got Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's got the edging around it that's um, debossed and embossed title. And here's the back. And then we also got Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull which I really am a fan of the artwork on this one since it's very consistent with all the other artwork. So very happy to have that. And then we got the 4K release. And for the 4K release, we got the 4K four movie collection just like this with this artwork and the packaging. Um, from what I can remember, it wasn't very good packaging, but I did purchase this because I pretty much purchased everything. Um, the box seems very flimsy, and I did. I kept it sealed. And then we got the Steelbook um, collection with a box set, which I did an unboxing of this with all of the Steelbooks. And um, very flimsy packaging for this. They didn't do one of the nice look. They did not do one of the nice little tins for this, and the artwork looked pretty, um, pretty weird. So I am going to link that so that you can check out the unboxing of those. But anyway, that was that. And then they gave us the steelbook release with the original, mostly yeah, the original artwork from the poster art. Really beautiful looking steelbooks. So we have Raiders of the Lost Ark, which I love that one. And then we have Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. There is no embossing or debossing. And then we got the artwork for this particular one, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. A little bit different than the other variations that I've seen. And we have Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. So really nice steel books that they finally did. Um, it's too bad it didn't come in one of those tins. And then here very recently we got the slipcover editions. So we have the nice artwork with the 4K slipcover. Love, love the artwork on this one. And here's the back. We have Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. 
original poster art in the back. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And here's the back. And we got Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull with this great looking artwork. Now with this, we have the nice looking spines. And so very happy to have all of these on the collection. So it's a pretty good collection. I do need to dig out my VHS tapes, which I may do that and maybe show those on Instagram. So please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Indiana Jones films. Let me know what you think about these particular releases. Which of these are your favorites? Do you like the UK editions of the still books with the embossing and the debossing? Do you like the cheap looking 4K still books that they did with the really weird looking artwork? Or which of these do you really like? And which of the films are you a fan of? Are you looking forward to the new one that's coming out? I know that I am. Definitely looking forward to checking that one out in the theater. But if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching. And we will see you next time.